Hey guys, this is General Kim from Airsoft GI, leader of the Imperial Forces, and this is my tactical gearheads on my loadout for Red Alert. I'm keeping the left side suppressed. Out of BBs, displacing. So starting with my headgear, I have a Lancer Tactical Fast Helmet, the uh, ballistic version in Dark Earth with a Woodland cover on it by vault that I found on the internet. You can see that the cover has various patches and a V-light. The helmet is also rigged up with a lower mesh face, um, the half style, so my ears are still exposed. Uh, and I'm wearing a Vulcan or VTAC Zulu glasses in clear. For my top, I am wearing a True Spec TRU BDU top um, with the various patches. Got the Black Watch patch and the Esotech uh, Symbology patch on the right side. On my left side, I have the infamous. Uh, join or die patch with the first MSOB uh, Raiders patch. Um, just to be clear, I'm not a Force Recon Marine. I was a former Marine, um, but this was given to me by a friend, so hence why I have it on. Um, the backpack I'm wearing is a Camelback Tri-Zip backpack that I found during my service time at the local PX. Um, awesome thing, it carries my BBs and my two tanks that I run for the 249. Um, the headset that I'm using is a Code Red speaker mic um, designed for Kenwood radios. However, it is hooked up to a Baofeng uh, with an extended antenna and extended battery. So moving on down, I have on proper BDU bottoms with Merrill Moab ventilators. Um, I've used these for years and they work great. So onto my gun, I have a Classic Army M249 that was re-rigged with a fusion engine uh, provided by the awesome tech department that we have here in Walnut, California. They did a great job on this gun. Um, it's outfitted with a Miracle Barrel uh, 509 length with uh, our hop. The tanks are outfitted with two 90 CI 4500 PSI tanks that are in line with each other. Hence why I didn't have to fill very often on the field. I actually had this gun set in joules versus FPS. The joule setting was at 1.5, which approximately put the gun at about 410 FPS, roughly. Um, the box mag I'm using is actually a MAG 2500 round box mag. For some reason, these box mags motors actually work a lot better than the stock box mags you get. Um, this gun can reach out to about 80, 80 yards, roughly. Um, and this thing is just amazing. I use this same gun at Copperhead for those of you that went to Copperhead. Um, and you can even see some of the Copperhead video footage on our YouTube channel. All right, so in the third scenario of BB Wars, Red Alert, I used an AK and I got a lot of questions about this AK. This AK is actually a G&G RK series AK. Um, fixed stock, Palmer handguards, and I actually added on the PBS style uh, barrel extension on the end of the gun. It has a G&G 6.03 Type Or barrel running through it. And once again, this gun was also worked on by our world-class tech department here in Walnut, California. So the theory behind my loadout for the entire series was uh, basically trying to be as light as possible so that way I could be up on the front lines with everyone else, making sure everybody's doing their job and pushing as hard as they can. Um, as you can see with the saw loadout that I only ran a backpack and I had BBs in it, um, just basically refilling as I needed to. Uh, that prevented me having so much weight on my body and not being able to move around as quick as I could. Um, along with the AK, the AK I used um, is extremely light. Um, the vest that I was using in conjunction with it holds multiple mags, however, still extremely light to use. It is a LBV style uh, vest. 
So able to carry the maximum amount of ammo and still have a lot of fun. Let's go! Keep firing! Half you guys move! Ready, let's go! Need a medic. Ready? Yeah. Let's go! This is General Kim. Thanks for watching my Tactical Gearheads video. Don't forget to check out our website for information and tickets on our epic nationwide three game event for BB Wars. And once again, this is General Kim. I'll see you on the battlefield.